Halo! Welcome back to Joyful Catholic Nurse. I have collected tomatoes for several days and today's the day. We're going to get moving on canning these tomatoes into tomato sauce. Not tomato paste, not tomato juice. No, maybe it's tomato juice. I don't know. It's a juicy sauce. Let's say that. All right, on a previous episode, I shared with you that basically I have access to four or five different varieties of tomatoes. And I am using all the tools available to me. One of them is a Vitamix. So I want to thank my husband for buying me this gift. Um, I'm sure it was for um, like an anniversary gift or a birthday or Christmas, something big, because it's a very expensive tool and I'm trying my best to learn how to use it. Here's one of the ways that my friend Eva, shout out Eva, showed me how to use the Vitamix. This is what she does. A variety of tomatoes. Now, here's my cherry tomato. I probably could throw it in just like that. I'm a little particular, so I'm going to cut off that the um, end that was connected to the plant. That goes in. The little... Um, garbage piece goes out to my recycling um, actually it's a compost pile so here's one of the Roma tomatoes that I grew and they're really wonderful I had some issues at the very beginning of the season with some um, kind of a black spot at the bottom I did some research on the internet it was related to calcium not being able uh, for the plant to uptake calcium but it could have been that i planted them when it was a little cold or there was too much rain or not enough rain i don't know i just picked off those and threw them in the compost pile um, when i saw that they were starting to grow and they had that black bottom on them so same with this um, roma tomato i'm just cutting off the top putting that into the compost and then I like to um, slice into them and just take a look at things and make sure they're good to go. Now, this is probably one of the early girls or better boys, but do you see that it's imperfect? Do you see that it's still a beautiful fruit, but it is not um, photographically perfect? That's not a problem in making sauce, in canning. You just cut off that part. Um, certainly cutting off or taking out the top there and again I just like to slice into it on the inside to make sure that it's okay here's another one um, didn't get fully red all the way around um, to the stem not a big deal you just cut that part off compost um, I in particular so I take off that little bit cut it just to make sure kind of that the inside look good looks good and it also um, lets the juices flow a little bit easier okay this is not your mama's tomato sauce because the way my mother would make tomato sauce is that she would peel the tomatoes and maybe take out the seeds with a Vitamix you don't have to do that it's an incredible machine so you saw skins, seeds, in all went into the Vitamix. Now we just pop the top on it. And it's plugged in, but I'm going to make sure that the power is on. And then I can either hold this, and this is the pulsing, or I can let her rip with this one. So if I do this, um, this other button here, then this is my speed. So I'm going to turn it on and we'll watch it whirl up. It's excellent. So let's turn it up and give it a little power. You want to see the full force of this? This is so incredible. Okay, what I believe happens is that the red tomatoes get crushed, pulverized, blended, but with 
air. So that's why it seems like it's more of a pink color when all the other tomatoes were red. That's not a big deal for me either because this is going to put, be put into a stock pot and then I'm gonna cook it down just a little bit before I add it to my cans and begin the canning process. If for some reason I don't have the ability to go right from this into the stock pot, into the canning process, it can be put on pause. This can go into the refrigerator or I can cook it down in the saucepan and then put it in the into the refrigerator before I can it. So the thing that I probably would not want to do is to let the tomatoes sit and kind of um, diminish their quality. I think it's better, and I'm just a home cook, but I think it's better to get them um, into the Vitamix or get them processed so that they can then go on to the, to the next couple of steps. What else did I want to tell you? Oh, did you see this cool shirt that a friend of mine made? Nursing in my veins, Jesus in my heart. I don't know why I felt like I had to have a, a weird accent when I said that, but very cool. I really enjoy the t-shirt and not everybody can have these um, fancy things, these fancy tools. I have been married for over 25 years and so my husband knows when he gets me a really nice tool in the kitchen, it's going to benefit him and his belly. So, um, for a very long time, I've always borrowed other people's equipment. So just realize that that's a really wonderful thing to do. If you know that somebody else has that, um, your mom, your aunt, your sister, your neighbor, consider asking them if you can borrow it. Certainly return it better than how you found it. So if there was a little bit of dried on tomato like I might have on mine, um, when I return it, it's um, you know going to be washed up. So that's just a nice little adage when you borrow things. It was great to um, share this with you. And really, this doesn't come out of my knowledge as a joyful Catholic nurse, but it comes out of other people sharing with me their joy, their happiness, their creativity in cooking. And so I hope that you will share with other people your creative spirit in cooking, your fun little tips and tricks. Do that down below in the comment section. That's where we can all interact as a community. Okay, have a great day.